Hey y'all, today we are with Isaac and he's gonna give us a tour of his self-built camper van. This is my self-built van. It's uh, for transit with the biggest engine. It's six and a half meters long, about 280 height. When you get in, pretty easy space. I live by myself, so I made it yeah, really easy for me, basically. So I hang what I usually use, what I need when I go outside like a bag or something. Got the fridge, of course. Simple one, five liter freezer. I think it's 48 liter, about there somewhere. I made a small kitchen, so I gotta have some extra space, which I put on top of the stove. Just hang it up here. Spice rack up here. Just storage for stuff. I have too much stuff. And the wall you just built recently. The wall I built recently, yeah, at the start of my trip, they cracked the window of mine, so they took a, like a computer, my passport, a few things. I had a thought that having a camper van, you're supposed to be able to move in between, so I wanted that, but uh, yeah, safety first, right? <laughs> I guess, so, and I, I, it's not that hard really to go out around, and we're in Spain or Portugal right now, <laughs> uh, so... I don't really mind. Kitchen sink, I chose a round one because the whole kitchen ain't so long, so I don't want any, a lot of bumps. I don't want it to crack. It uh, could be a little deeper, but it works because I'm alone, not so much dishes. Basic things for the kitchen, fruits, which are only limes right now, but yeah. Coffee bar, knife rack, and uh, my new couch. Had a smaller one before, but yeah, I like to invite people over. I got the TV as well, not a lot of people do have that, so we can have movie nights. As I said before, I have too much stuff, so I have too much clothes as well. Had to put these up like a couple of weeks ago. Works pretty good. So pants and more pants. Also more pants. And uh, yeah, all this way is only clothes. Uh, just regular plywood, which I sandpapered once and just oiled. Works pretty good. I like to see the, the wood. How much did it cost you, all the project? I got the van really cheap because I had engine light from the beginning. Uh, fortunate it was a really f easy fix, so it was about 3,500 euros. So I think I'm about 20,000 somewhere. Uh, maybe a little under, maybe a little bit over. Probably over because I rebuilt a lot. <laughs> this couch as well, really easy to just fold out to a bed so it's about 180 and 120. This bed is also a bit less because I like the open space so it's 160 to here and about 170 that way so I sleep diagonally because one I'm 185. Swivel table which goes everywhere more storage this is full. Under benches it's uh, food storage Pretty, pretty big one, it's like this big. So yeah, that's filled. And uh, here's, yeah, utensils. Under here's my heater, just a regular diesel heater, which uh, the heat comes out here. Uh, and it works really good because, yeah, it's not that big, like seven square meters. So shower as well, you get, you get dirty in a while. Uh, so I just pick this up and this goes to the window. I shower outside. You have just cold water? Yes, cold water, unfortunately. But I'm good. Like, if you're not up too far north, it's good. I can shower outside. But uh, I've been thinking about a heater as well. For, it's good for more, more than one reason. My fan is an Air Max. I try to put it in this kind of the center if I'm sleeping and it's hot. But I use it mostly when I cook. And how long did it take you to build it? I got really far when I started in the beginning actually like the first two three months I was almost done but then I had start working so yeah let's say five months outside regular awning it's about two and f two and a half meter out 375 across the van Everybody knows windows are really expensive for campers and I really needed one more. I uh, didn't want to pay like 500 euros. So I took two, two slides of polycarbonate, just one from the inside, one from the outside. And that was about 
I don't know, 50 euros. It's the same reason, like, I don't want to pay 500, so that's, I think, 60 euros on Amazon or something. Regular boat window looks pretty good, it's all right. Unfortunately, it's a little bit like this, so if you're real tired and it's been raining and you open it, you can get a little bit of water in your face. But it wakes you up at least. I got 200 amps of lithium battery. Really easy setup. Plus minus, you know, you know that. And how much solar and inverter do you have? Uh, yeah, solar regulator here. I think I can put in maximum for 30 on this one. I have 380 right now. My inverter is 2000 watts. You use surge power of 4000. I have water behind all this shit. That's just two regular water, 25 liter water jugs, which connected. So I got 50 liters. I'm going to put an extra in, I think. So 75 it's going to be. Otherwise, yeah, the, the propane is there too. You can see a little bit of the diesel heater, but I, it's just stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's about it. Uh, thanks for letting me do this, Roman. And thanks for watching. And if you want to ask me anything, you could uh, check out my Instagram. I suck my brother.